What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you a little known feature of Samsung's multi-window mode. Now surely you've seen this in the commercials, and maybe it's the reason why you bought your Galaxy S5 in the first place, but modern Samsung phones are capable of showing two apps on the screen at one time. This feature is called multi-window mode, and to activate it, you just need to pull down your notification shade and expand the quick settings toggles so that you can toggle multi-window mode on. Now when you do that, you see a little bubble on the side of the screen, and that's how you activate your multi-window apps. Now what you normally do here is drag a couple of apps onto the top and the bottom portions of the screen. But say you have two particular apps that you always find yourself using together in multi-window mode. For instance, something like Chrome, and then YouTube, just to watch some videos or something like that. Now rather than dragging these to the top and the bottom half of the screen every single time you want to use them in tandem, you can create a group of multi-window apps. Just tap this little up arrow at the bottom of the list and select Create when you have both of your apps pulled up. It'll then give you a chance to name this group of apps, and you can put in whatever you want. But when you do that, you see a nice little animation that shows you that these two apps are actually being added to your multi-window drawer. So at any time in the future, you just pull up your multi-window mode like you normally would, and tap that app group that you just created. Multi-window mode will automatically load up those two apps exactly how they were when you created that group. So pretty handy stuff, especially for the true multitaskers out there. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.